Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was which one of the following best explains or describes the term Tomahawk? It is a form of Indian classical dance. It is a submarine of the US Navy. It is a long range cruise missile or it is a large bird with a horizontal body and long bare legs. The correct answer is option C. It is a long range cruise missile. Recently, Australia finalized a deal to buy more than 200 Tomahawk cruise missiles from the United States. It is a US made long range cruise missile used for deep land attack warfare. It can be launched from a ship or submarine and can deliver its warhead precisely to a target at a long range. It is designed to fly at subsonic speed while maintaining a low altitude, making it difficult to detect on radar. It uses tailored guidance systems to maneuver while at such low elevations. It has a range of up to 2400 km and can travel 885 km per hour. It has an accuracy of about 5 meters that is 16 feet. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, recently the term Candida auris was in the news. It is related to deadly fungal infection, flesh-eating bacteria, deadly viral infection or single-cell bacteria in the Arctic. The correct answer is option A, deadly fungal infection. Recently, a deadly fungal infection has spread in the US likely linked to climate change. In 2016, hospitals in New York state identified a rare and dangerous fungal infection never before found in the United States. In 2021, the state recorded the most confirmed cases in the country year after year. Candida auris is a globally emerging public health threat that can cause severe illness. It can cause bloodstream, wound and respiratory infections. Last year, most cases were found in Nevada and California, but the fungus was identified clinically in patients in 29 states. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Andhra Mahabharatam. 1. It is a Telugu version of Mahabharat. 2. It was written by Kavitriyam, that is Trinity of Poets. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, 1000 years of the Telugu version of Mahabharata was celebrated in Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Mahabhagavatam is also known as the Telugu version of Mahabharat. Hence, statement one is correct. It was written by the Kavitriyam, that is trinity of poets consisting of Nanaya, Thikana and Yera Pragada, also known as Irana. Hence, statement two is correct. The three poets translated the Mahabharat from Sanskrit into Telugu over the period of the 11th to 14th century CE. These three poets wrote Andhra Mahabharatam in Telugu literature style but keeping the same exact essence as that of Sanskrit Mahabharatam. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Artemis II. 1. Artemis II is the first scheduled flight of the Artemis program. 2. It will be the first crewed Artemis mission. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration announced that it moved the mobile launch tower for the crewed Artemis 2 mission to launch pad 39B of the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Artemis 2 is the second scheduled flight of the Artemis program. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. It will be the first crewed Artemis mission. During the mission, four astronauts will fly around the moon before returning to the Earth. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Artemis 2 will use the huge space launch system, Mega Rocket and Orion spacecraft to launch the crew on the lunar flyby mission. The astronauts and mission controllers will collect data on Orion and the crew's performance to assess how ready the Artemis program is to send people to the moon's surface? Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding AI-generated art. One, the earliest iterations of the AI art appeared in 1996. Two, portrait of George Bush II was the first AI-generated art on auction. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. That is, both the statements are incorrect. Recently, a US court in Washington, D.C. announced that a work of art created by artificial intelligence 
without any human input cannot be copyrighted under US law. The earliest iterations of AI art appeared in the late 1960s with the first notable system appearing in 1973 with the debut of our own developed by Harold Cohen. The Aron system was an AI assistant that used a symbolic AI approach to help Cohen create black and white art drawings. Hence, statement one is not correct. Edmund de Bellamy from Allah family de Bellamy was the first ever work, original work of art created using artificial intelligence to come to auction. Hence, statement two is not correct. The portrait was created using generative adversarial networks or GANs. The distorted portrait by the French art collective Obvious was marketed by Christie's as the first portrait generated by an algorithm to come up for auction. It was sold for $432,500. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is, recently the term Methylo 2V Microbium Bruyantens 5GB1C was in the news. It is related to nitrogen fixating bacteria, methane consuming bacteria, oxygen producing bacteria or single cell bacteria in the Arctic. The correct answer is option B, methane consuming bacteria. Recently, the researchers said that a strain of bacteria could potentially remove methane from major emission sites such as landfills, paddy fields and oil and gas wells. Harnessing this bacterium on a large scale can keep 240 million tons of methane from reaching the atmosphere by 2050. It performs best at 500 parts per million ppm. Further tests also showed that this strain grew well even at 200 ppm. It consumes methane which is over 85 times more potent than carbon dioxide on a 20-year time scale. Bacteria produce biomass after consuming methane which can be used as feed in aquaculture. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the CSIR Prima ET11. 1. It is the first indigenous e-tractor. 2. It is developed by Tata Motors. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, both or none. The correct answer is option A, only one. Recently, the Union Minister of State Independent Charge Science and Technology launched the CSIR Prima ET11. It is the first indigenous e-tractor. Its launch is significant as it represents a leap in technology adoption in the agricultural sector. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It is developed by the Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute, Durgapur. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is, in the context of Indian biodiversity, what is the IUCN status of the palm coca 2? Endangered, near threatened, vulnerable or least concern? The correct answer is option D, least concern. Recently, six palm coca 2s or black coca 2s were rescued from Assam's Kachar district. It is also known as the Goliath Kokatu or Great Black Kokatu and is a large smoky grey or black parrot of the Kokatu family. IUCN status of the palm Kokatu is least concern. It has a very large black beak and prominent red cheek patches. It is native to New Guinea, the Aru Islands and the Cape York Peninsula. They occur in rainforests such as gallery forest, forest edges, eucalypt and paper bark woodlands, monsoon woodlands, dense savannas and partly cleared areas. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following countries. 1. Great Britain. 2. Ireland. 3. Denmark. North Sea lies between which of the above given countries? 1 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 3 only? The correct answer is option C. 1 and 3 only. Recently, the UK is planning more drilling in the North Sea for oil and natural gas. It is a sea in Northern Europe and is part of the Atlantic Ocean. It is bordered by the United Kingdom and Norway to the west, Denmark to the south, Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium and France to the east, and Faroe Islands and Norway's Svalbard archipelago to the north. The North Sea connects to the Atlantic Ocean via the English Channel in the southwest and the Baltic Sea in the east via the Kattegat and Skagerrak Straits. The Kiel Canal is one of the world's busiest artificial waterways and connects the North Sea with the Baltic. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, which one of the following best explains or describes the term Piripkura? Species of flora in the Andaman and Nicobar, indigenous tribe found in the Amazon rainforest, Brazilian government's initiative to preserve Amazonian wildlife or traditional festival of South Africa. 
द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी इंडिजनस ट्राइब फाउंड इन द एमेजॉन रेन फॉरेस्ट रिसेंटली ब्राजील फाउंड द लास्ट सर्वाइवर्स ऑफ द पिरपकुरा ट्राइब हु आर ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ कंप्लीट एक्सटेंशन द पिरपकुरा ट्राइब बिलोंग्स टू द एमेजॉन रेन फॉरेस्ट ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका दे आर एन ऑफ शूट ऑफ अ लार्जर इंडिजनस ग्रुप दैट वन स्प्रेड अक्रॉस अ लार्ज स्वाथ ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट पिरपकुरा प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज आर बींग गिवन टू पीपल फॉर कमर्शियल एक्सप्लॉयटेशन तमंदुआ इज वन ऑफ द लार्ज थ्री नॉन सर्वाइवर्स ऑफ द पिरपकुरा पीपल एंड ऑफ शूट of a larger indigenous group that once spread across a large swath of the forest he has lived isolated deep in the amazon rainforest his entire life believed to be about 50 years therefore option b is the correct answer last question is consider the following statements regarding tapas uav one it is a high altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle two it was developed by drdo three it cannot be operated in the night conditions How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three, or none? The correct answer is option A. Only one. Recently, a tapas unmanned aerial vehicle crashed during a trial flight in a village of Chitradurg district, Karnataka. Tapas is a medium altitude, long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle. Hence, statement one is not correct. The tapas UAV or tapas drone was developed by DRDO, that is Defence Research and Development Organisation. Hence, statement two is correct. It can also be operated in both day and night conditions. Hence, statement three is not correct. It has an impressive range of more than eighteen hours and can operate at altitudes of up to twenty-eight thousand feet. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. Which of the following best explains Alcani Vorax borcuminensis, a type of medicinal plant, a species of coral, deposits of mineral and sediments in the ocean, or a marine bacterium? send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching